It's always a good idea to create a backup of your computer here. That way, if you lose a document or delete it by accident, as for example, I have my RSS feeds document, I can always restore it from my backup. That backup can be on a DVD or another hard drive. Most computers that you purchase these days are so big that they divide the hard drives into two. So you have one that is your main operating system, Windows Vista in this case, then you have a second one where you can just store extra stuff on it. So to begin the backup, click on the Start button, go to the Control Panel, and then under System and Maintenance, click on Back Up Your Computer. Now, if you don't see it, that's because you probably have Windows Home Premium or Windows Home Basic. They don't include backups, only if you have Vista Business or Vista Ultimate. Before I back up the files, I want to make sure I have my settings set. So I'll go ahead and click on Change Settings. Come down here and say Change Backup Settings. And then the first thing it's going to ask me, where do I want to back all my information up on? Well, I have a local hard drive or a second hard drive on my computer which is right here. My main hard drive isn't listed because you can't back up your files and documents on the same hard drive. So it can either be a second hard drive or a DVD or another USB hard drive or an external hard drive. I'll go ahead and do it on my second hard drive. Click Next. And then by default it's going to back up my main hard drive, the letter C, and any other external hard drives I'd like to back up I can check here. I'm fine. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. What do I want to back up? I can check all the boxes here. The only ones that I want to check are emails and documents. We'll keep it simple, but you get the idea. Click Next. How often do you want to do backups? Weekly, daily, monthly. Um, if it's weekly, every Friday at 5 p.m. sounds good to me. Now, the first time you do a backup, you probably want to do a full backup now. Go ahead and check the box, otherwise you may get errors. And then go ahead and click on Save Settings and Start Backup starts flashing down at the bottom here the extra button on the taskbar click on it and you can see it's now creating a backup we'll give it a few seconds to run through and then when it's finished I'll go ahead and bring you back in and show you what happened so at the end here it says that the backup has finished successfully go ahead and close out and let's go take a look to see where it backed up to remember it was my second hard drive so I'll go ahead and minimize the screen here double click on the computer here and it was the second hard drive drive E double click on that and there it is it's the folder df-5. It's going to be the name of the computer here and I named my computer df-5. Double click on that. There's the backup for today. Double click on that. It's got the catalogs. It has the files here and it compressed or it zipped all the files, everything that it backed up on my computer. Now since I've done my complete backup here, I can go back to the backup restore center and if I'd like, I can actually back up new and or modified files since my last backup so I just backed it up a few seconds ago here but if it was a couple of days and it wasn't scheduled to back up again for like every Friday like it should I can go ahead and come up here and click on change settings then down below I can say backup now in other words scan for new or updated files and add them to your backup click on backup now a little pop-up here said that it was running double click on it and what it's doing is it's now scanning through my whole computer and it's finding if there's any new files and if they aren't new files have they been modified since the last backup which was just a few seconds ago but again thinking forward if this was something we just backed up today then a couple of days later we made some significant changes to our computer with files and we added a lot of new files that we didn't want to wait until Friday for the automatic backup to take place then we can go ahead and run this here and see if it can find anything that has changed since then and do the backup then when it's finished, let's see what happened. I'm going to go ahead and close out, close out of here, minimize the window to the desktop. Go to my computer here. Again, it backed up to the E drive. Double click on that. To the name of the computer, which is DF5, double click. Backup set, double click on that. Now within that, we have two different backup sets. We had one that was from earlier today. In fact, if you just hover over this, it gives you the time, 11.38 a.m., and then the second one is 11.54 a.m. Go ahead and watch the next training video on restoring your files, and I'll show you how to restore these files back to your computer. For example, if I delete one of the documents here, or my computer crashes and I have a new computer that I want to restore these files back on too. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.